four out of seven patients in blood cancers, these highly, highly deadly diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, DLBCL, four out of seven patients have had complete response, meaning no more cancer, after fifth lines of therapy and have been going on the longest, uh, they're still ongoing, by the way, and the longest has had, have had more than going on more than 11 months. Welcome to Proactive. My name is Kerry Stevenson. Today, I'm speaking with Leslie Chong. She's the CEO and Managing Director of Imugene. ASX code is IMU. The reason I've asked Leslie to come on, they have just had an announcement out today, which I think is big news. Leslie, welcome to Proactive. Great to see you. Great to see you again, Kerry. Now, this is pretty big news for Imugene. This is the FDA is fast tracking one of your therapies. Why don't you let us know what it is, what it's about, and why this is actually potentially a game changer for Imugene? Wonderful. So Imugene, as uh, your audience may already know, is an immunotherapy company. We're in the clinic, all cancer patients, and we have three products that we're developing. So one, an allogeneic CAR-T, a chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapeutics that's in blood cancers. We have two oncolytic viruses that are also in cancer, but in solid tumors. So today, what I want to talk to you about is our Azer cell, which is an allogeneic off the shelf CAR T. So meaning when a patient is diagnosed and they go through several different lines of therapy and have progressed, they come on our study and can take a healthy donor T cell that's been re-engineered so that it fits into their body and can go after certain kinds of cancer. As we all know, we have just released significant news that literally four out of seven patients in blood cancers, these highly, highly deadly diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, DLBCL, four out of seven patients have had complete response, meaning no more cancer, oh, after wow. fifth lines of therapy and have been going on the longest, uh, they're still ongoing, by the way, and the longest has have, have had more than, going on more than 11 months of complete response. This is a 47-year young lady who has blown through four lines of therapy have come on. And, you know, the beauty of this product is that the FDA has recognized the importance of a product like this and have given us fast track designation. So the FDA doesn't just give this out. You actually have to do a long application, give you safety, background, the construct. And the FDA has given us this fast track designation, which means it gets us access to the FDA for feedback and conversations. We get to, to expedite a phase at the end of phase one, phase one B meeting, uh, we can talk to them at any point regarding our registrational strategy to market this product and the safety. So it's a great honor to receive this from the FDA. How difficult is it to get this fast track designation? Is that it, you just said a minute ago that they just don't give it out? You've got to do a lot of work beforehand. You really have to show that this deserves a fast track designation, right? You can't just uh, submit and expect to get it. Um, most folks probably wouldn't wouldn't uh, announce that they've submitted it or have an application in just in case they don't get it. Right. Um, so there's only a few that guess fast track designation. And I'm proud to say imaging has actually two fast track designation within our oncolytic virus, as well as our Azer cell. So in blood cancers, these deadly blood cancer types, as well as a uh, bio tract cancer in our vaccinia oncolytic virus solid tumor study. With this fast track for Azer cell, does that mean you're going to focus more on that because you can bring it to market quicker? Well, it is prioritized as one of our 
main prioritized program because it has a sort of a fast to market strategy. Uh, it because we're seeing a level of response in a late line of patients, especially in autologous CAR T failures. We're seeing uh, a, a response where normally patients don't have any other options. So ergo, this could be a strategy to go into a phase two, three registrational uh, marketable study. Okay, so there's some, there's still some steps to go, but I want to know how big is the market? If you, you know, this keeps going down and, you know, you're getting these fantastic results. How big is the market? And let, let's just start with how big is the market? Because I've got another couple of questions after that. So the market is roughly about, you know, 80,000 or so patients are diagnosed in the U.S. with DLBCO. They go through several different lines of therapy, like chemo. Uh, then they progress. They take auto CAR Ts, and sometimes they progress. But it's not just the size; it's the matter of response rate. So, if you have a greater uh, level of response or ability to shrink the tumors or completely shrink the tumors, then you can obviously work up into the line. So the first registrational strategy is to get to that late line and affect that and then move across uh, to earlier lines of therapy where there's more patients and then we can affect more change and meaningful um, cures, hopefully, uh, in the near future. Again, going back to being at fast track, does this mean that it should, apart from shrinking tumors, does it shrink the time to market? So what I'm looking for now is what are the next steps from a shareholder point of view? Does this bring you into the next level? And, and what's the next phases, if you like? So fast track is exactly that. It's a license to say, hey, the FDA has, has, has noted you, has marked you. So if you come in with a registrational strategy, they will help expedite to get you to a place where you can provide this to, to patients um, in a marketed form sooner than say if you were to go without a fast track. So yes, all that means is the FDA has recognized the need for this product yep. and has pretty much given a stamp of approval to say, we're going to fast track you because we think this is a product worth be getting marketed. So we as a company will do everything we can to ensure that we have the right number of patients statistically so that we can go to the FDA, get a clear registrational path so that th those all that work is quite fluid and then we can market this product. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Leslie Chong. She's the CEO and Managing Director making great strides. Today's announcement, as I said before, uh, they've got FDA approval to fast track one of their therapies. But Leslie, great to see you. Thank you so much for joining me on Proactive today. Thanks, Carrie. Have a great day.